Hello, I'm Tiffany and I'm an ecologist with the BCT. I'm speaking to you from Wiradjuri country and welcoming you to another edition of BioBytes. I'm a bit of a bird nerd, so high on my weekend to-do list is finding ways to attract more birds to my garden. It's great to be able to share our space with wildlife and a good way to bring them in is to provide water. Birds especially use water not only to drink, of course, but to keep their feathers in good condition. Feathers in good condition not only help them to fly well, but also keep them warm. And with these cooler days, even colder mornings, that's particularly important. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to construct a bird bath. Of course, you can buy a bird bath from your local garden center or nursery, but why not make your own from something repurposed, something you found in the back shed, your very own bespoke bird bath. What I've gathered together here are things that are going to make up the most important part of your bird bath, which is something to hold the water in. And the one thing we don't want is to have any birds drowning in our bird bath. This one has got a nice glazed bottom, but that's a little bit too smooth, probably a bit slippery. So I don't think we're going to use that one. We've got a, a glass, glass dish, probably an oven dish of some sort. This is uh, possibly okay. Um, again, a little bit slippery, so I might put that to one side. I don't know what this is, but it has a very nice, great graduated slope. The only issue, of course, it's got a hole in the middle, but I'm sure we can fix that up. And then we've got two other plant holders. And I also found a bin lid, which might work really, really well. Okay, I found myself a nice sheltered spot. And I found myself a couple of other objects that are going to help in creating my bespoke bird bath. So, nice upturned empty plant pot. Got a piece of brick. Okay, piece of brick on top. I've got my trusty bin lid. Alright, so that's a little bit wobbly. A little more wobbly than I'd like. So, just to give it a bit of stability, I've got a handy rock. Okay, let's get some water in it. So this is the point where you can find out if you've got any leaks or not. And it seems to have worked all right. So, one more thing we can do is to add a perch. So although we've got these nice overhanging branches, it's really great. You can whack in, that's a little perch. Birds can land, jump down the perch, have a bit of a drink or a bathe. There you have it. Possibly not the prettiest bird bath on the block, but very practical. I'm going to wait and see if the birds discover it. Can I just say that oh, this was this is within two minutes of putting this bird bath up. You've got visitors, so there you go. Well, this has been another bio bite, and uh, good luck building yourself a backyard bird bath. Okay, bye.